it's your girl Mandy B. And I'm Bridget Kelly, and we are hosts of the See The Thing Is podcast. You are checking out Press Pause Productions. Hey, this is Archie for Press Pause Productions and Pop Smash Radio. See, the thing is, when you're with two beautiful and intelligent young women, you give them the perfect introduction in the world. We have the Bridget Kelly right here. We have the Mandy B. Y'all are so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to say thank you in the mic. Thank you. (laughs) And I was just saying, they smell delicious. Thank you. It's giving sweet chili wings. (laughs) (laughs) I like smelling delicious. I do. It's great. 100%. Thank you guys for doing this, first and foremost. And I love all of the amazing things you're doing with your podcast. Absolutely. This is a lot of fun for you guys. This is a second tour stop, right? This is our third Third, third, tour stop. stop. Yeah, we've done L.A., Mm -hmm. Atlanta, and now here. And then tomorrow we go to D.C. How was the first two? Terrific. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, we had a really good Fun. Time. Mm-hmm. I think it's been really great. This is our first time meeting our, our fans. Yeah. Yes. But meeting them in person. Like, yes. we get to meet them on our Patreon. <laughs> yeah. And mm-hmm. we see them in the comments, but being able to, like, really see them in person. Yeah. It's right. great. Totally different experience. Yeah, it's definitely a different experience. Um, I love the whole setup that you have out there Thank so far. You. I know it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to hear what you guys are going to say <laughs> and what y'all want to do. Because the podcast is funny. It is. Is, but it's informative as well. It's grown, honest, yeah. and slightly toxic. Yes. yes. So we're going to get pretty toxic today. Okay. So no, we, we are. Yeah, right. we are. We're gonna, we are going to get pretty toxic. It's going to be great. But you know what's always fun at the same time? Yeah. You guys have like a really interesting way. Y'all, y'all play off each other very well. Thank you. Thank and you. Y'all, and y'all know what to do to get things started, the things that you're saying, yes. um, the spark conversation. So mm-hmm. what can we expect on this tour and today in Philly? Mm. Oh, I'm talking all the shit about Philly. I like yeah. to talk shit about the city. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> what are you gonna say about us now? Come on, come on. I just tried Scrapple, so that that'll let you know what you I'm gonna say. I, did, I didn't even know what it was. And honestly, the Scrapple we had. I thing though. Mm-mm. It's not. Mm-mm. I don't think so. The, the, I'm from the Florida. We ain't had, no Scrapple. Really? The Scrapple uh, we had today was eh, mid. Okay. It mid. wasn't great. It we had mid Scrapple. Um. But no, we're, we're yeah, we're with mid scrapper. We're okay. gonna we'll talk we'll talk a little about Philly. Right. We got some special guests that are Philly natives as we well. We do. We have a lot of Philly natives. Um, us. and we're gonna play a lot of Philly music. Part of nice. part of part of what we love about See the Thing is is our ability to connect yeah. with our fans through the music. So we're definitely okay. gonna be playing some so. good some good some good games and some good songs. So you'll hear some some Philly some Philly oh, John. Oh, all right, exactly. Here like, we go. They so they I'm, told I'm me I don't say it right. right. So <laughs> I'm not, okay. Yeah, don't say it. You they, can't say it right. Yeah. You don't <laughs> yeah, they was all just getting on me. In the green room, so it's not going to work. At least we see you shake that, you know. That's the thing. Yes. We still see that. We see if we can do that. We'll see how that goes there. Um, everything is moving so beautiful for you. Yeah. What's the next step? Where do you see this happen? Where do you see y'all in the next two, three years during this? Are you not even thinking that far? Oh, right I don't know. No, I mean we talk TV. We talk There's... maybe a TV show. We we mm-hmm. both of us are interested in doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes too. With, yeah. With Ooh. our show with with. Things beyond just our show, but yeah. our show has been the launch pad for a lot of that. So we're really yeah. looking forward to doing more of that. Yeah. Some more stuff in front of the camera and some more stuff behind the camera. Yeah, yes, mm-hmm. that's so awesome. I yeah. love your take on relationships. Oh, oh do you? Shit. <laughs> do you really? Well, which, <laughs> well, which take? Because our takes aren't the our same. Takes are very takes different. Are, which, so, which one? Maybe one? you're very spicy. Wow. Yes. With a lot of your with a lot of your comments and things like I was just watching <laughs> the. You really don't have to reference the, uh, <laughs> really uh, the thing, actually. But, I mean, they're very interesting. <laughs> Um, yours <laughs> come from a very level-headed perspective, wow. but, but... Mandy is level-headed. It's just a different level. It's, it's a, a different, different level. level. There no, we go. I'm, but I think it's controversial as well. I want to get into some things, you know, mm. that you're talking about. But I love the uh, the podcast you had with Maida. Yes. yes. That was so awesome. Yeah. Thank um, you. She was wonderful. I, yeah, oh, yeah, she was she, a great she's guest. really good. She's mm-hmm. a great singer, too. Mm-hmm. But um, I just love when y'all was going back and forth about relationships and the diff- Yeah, and you, <laughs> your comments about things like that. You know, you've been on tour and tour life and singing things yeah. like that. What really do you think of guys coming to concerts and tours? That's one thing that stood out that, that I had people in the oh. background watching. And it was like, mm. you know what, it's really interesting. We really can't meet guys at, 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 um, at um, I mean, clubs anymore. That. We true. can't meet guys at concerts anymore. So, And then they're afraid to meet guys online. Right. It could be weirdos and a lot of other situations. Yeah, catfish, you know. Yeah. What do you say to women? Mm. I, as to where to meet men? Yeah. Where do you meet the guys? Oh. Go outside. <laughs> men are easy. They're everywhere. Don't pay for it. 
they out here. Like, <laughs> men are the easiest creatures to bag, go to the grocery store, <laughs> pump your gas. They be there. Right. But also, like, networking events. Like, if you go at this point. In your point, industry, yeah. Yeah, in your industry, like, go to networking events. Go to happy hour things. The club, mm -hmm. not so much, because we mm -hmm. go into the club with something different. So right. maybe not the club, but a little happy hour vibe, a little after work mm -hmm. vibe. That's a great place to go. Because yes, if you go at the agree. after work time, it means that he has a job that he needs a, right. a little bit of a, of a reprieve from, which is why it's the after hour, the happy yeah. hour time. So, yeah, that's that, that will be my, my recommendation. And here's a question that a lot house, of my... Oh, yes. Ladies yes. Don't leave their house. Just leave your house. A lot of ladies complain they don't have access to these men, but it's like, since you got to get up off the couch, you might have to do your hair for this one. Well, how about that? That's really interesting. A lot of my male friends, they always complain that they are a little bit now seem like guys are a little bit intimidated to talk to a female because they have so much going on. They have what? Uh, th yeah. I, I, oh, I yeah, so tell all your friends they're insecure. Oh. They have so much going on? Because a lot of women, they women have, have so too much, much going, going on. on. No, and like, and a nigga like insecure, he, to, you know, the man is insecure. I'm saying what my friends say. We do, you know, we, we, do we, we do have a lot going on, but why don't some of y'all have a lot going on? Oh, aha. Why y'all? Why are you worried about what I got going on? What do you have going on? Mm. What do you have going on? If you should be less worried about what women have going on, because chances are yes. women are trying. To, women are trying to level up to be to be worth exactly what they ask for. Most women at this point are not really. They're not out here just asking for shit they can't provide. A lot of women of a certain age, not all. Some are still young and trying to figure it out. Women of a certain age who are grown and know what they want out of life, know what they want out of the relationship. They're prepping themselves to be with the person they want to spend their life with. So if that's what they're doing, why are you worried about her? If you're not trying to meet her where she's at, leave her alone. See, the thing is, they right. <laughs> and um, tell yes, your friends. Tell, tell your friends. friends. Tell, tell your friends. Tell their friends. Tell their friends. <laughs> friends. Exactly. Thank y'all so much for doing this. Okay, We're right. gonna have fun out here oh, in Philly. Oh, right. it's gonna be cute. We're gonna turn up. It's gonna be cute. I saw the highlights in Atlanta, and it looked fun. <laughs> oh, so I, I'm expecting oh, some it's craziness. Gonna be great. It's gonna be great tonight. <laughs> it's gonna be great though. Oh well, thank we you so really much. You. Um, big fans. Thank Can't you. Wait to continue to support. Yeah. The thing is, these beautiful ladies right here, yeah. Richard Kelly, Mandy B, do you think it's podcast? Make sure y'all see it <laughs> Tuesdays and Fridays. That's right.